party and captain of your own ship. I see you're putting the unreliable to good use. Shame about her former captain. Horrible way to die. How are you feeling, by the way? I lost track of you in that cave back there. Experiencing any, uh, unnatural drippage? Perfectly normal side effect of thawing, I assure you. Oh, that, yes, um, that's probably permanent. I wouldn't worry about it, though. I'm sure you're fine. What you saw in Emerald Vale is happening all across the colony. Food shortages, lack of supplies, and basic necessities. We're dying. The chairman, the minister, and all their lackeys on the board are to blame. The Hope has some of the brightest minds Earth ever sent us. If we can revive the Hope's colonists, they can help us undo the board's mistakes. They can help us set things right. You need to get to Stellar Bay on Monarch. I have contacts there. They'll help me, uh, help us, <laughs> find the chemicals to revive your fellow colonists. Gladys Kelly, lovely woman, runs a cozy little black marketing outfit on the ground breaker. She can get you a nav key to land on Stellar Bay. Strictly speaking, Monarch is a moon, terraformed badly, and almost completely lawless. You'll love it. Captains don't fly their own ships, you see. Your navigation terminal handles the, uh, you know, navigation. Think of a nav key as a set of flight instructions. The board's been confiscating nav keys for Stellar Bay, so we must rely on unconventional means of acquisition. Hence, Miss Gladys Kelly. Without a skip drive, good luck. You'll be dead before you make it to the nearest star. Look, I admire your optimism, but the sad truth is you're stuck here. You, me, and the rest of this colony. We're all skating precariously around the edge of oblivion together. None of us are leaving Halcyon alive, so we may as well make it a better place. And we can start by reviving the hope. Gladys and I have been doing business for years. Her smuggling credentials are unimpeachable. If anyone can get you a key to Monarch, it's her. Criminals, goodness no. Smuggling is a perfectly legitimate business venture. If misappropriating board property is a crime, well then, throw me in Tartarus. Plenty of ways to make money in Halcyon, you know. Not all are above board. Oh, <laughs> above board, above the Halcyon board. Get it? Laughter. Good. Wasn't sure you'd be able to. After so long frozen. I'll make a note of that on your progress chart. In theory, I suppose you could land your ship in Cascadia. And, in theory, I suppose you might survive the experience. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Kelly. Excellent. I'll send her a wireless. Let her know you're coming. By the way, I gave Captain Hawthorne a disguise apparatus of my own design. Cutting-edge technology, years ahead of its time. I call it the Holographic Shroud. I'm sure it will prove remarkably useful to you. You'll find it in the Captain's quarters. Marvelous device. I'm quite proud of myself. The Shroud changes the user's appearance to mimic that of another. It has limits. First-generation technology, you see. But promising. Exciting to see it in use at last. Very simply, the holographic Shroud uses biometric information contained on standard identity cartridges to generate a holographic projection around you. only stands up to a casual scrutiny. Use it too long, bound to flicker, blur, something like that. 
Movement makes it more likely. Best used in moderation. When you see guards in your path, you can't sneak past, for example. Maintain your distance. Act normal. No running, no jumping. Don't draw their attention. If they pay attention, they're more likely to notice flaws in the hologram. Ha 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 ha! The beauty is, they don't expect it. The Shroud is the only one of its kind. We humans have a tendency to overlook the unexpected. Activate the disguise, walk past someone. What do they see? A figure dressed like a fellow employee. Don't act odd. They won't focus on you. Excellent. I'll contact you once you've found a way to get to Stellar Bay. If you have any questions, come see me in my lab. And remember, don't trust the board. They'll try to win you over with promises of wealth and power. But it's a lie. The board's only interested in filling their own pockets. If we don't put a stop to them, they're going to run this colony to the ground. Transmission ended. If you are ready to depart, please select a destination on your navigation terminal.
Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Can we talk? Hey, Captain. I heard that Groundbreaker's got a real good engineer. A lady named June Lay Tennyson? I was thinking that maybe I ought to meet her. If you got time to swing us by, I mean. I don't got much experience fixing actual spaceships. I bet you a can of Borston beans she could teach me all manner of stuff. I abso surely can. I'm a passing fair mechanic. Even Mr. Thompson would have said it's my only skill. But I'm used to working on cannery lines, AG loaders and the like. There's tricks about ships I ain't learned yet. All I'm looking for is a few pointers. I bet a lady who runs a whole station has forgot more than I ever learned. Thanks, Captain. I'll be sure to make it worth your time. Did you want to talk about something else? 